insert, 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 insert. Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Need no one else, you're all I need. Personality, everything you do, it's me to love. Everything about you. just got my toes done as you guys just saw i think the last time i saw you guys i was doing my hair i will i got my hair done um and i didn't even show you guys the final reveal because i had to put the beads on myself because my friend that did it she had to go get her hair done so um and i did my beads last night i'm gonna show y'all what they look like when I get home. So for the rest of this video, um, I still have to go get my nails done. I was supposed to get them done tonight, but my nail tech moved my appointment till tomorrow because something happened. So I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I'm gonna shave and do all of that stuff, extra stuff myself. Um, I don't do waxes and I don't get my lashes done. So like, I wear strip lashes. Not to say that I never will, I just never have. So yeah, but that's what's been going on. <laughs> Cause I haven't talked to y'all um, in a couple of days since I started this whole process. So I just wanted to get on here and speak. <laughs> Cause it's been a minute. But yeah, um, I like my hair. It came out really cute. 
Um, and I'm just ready to get my nails done. That's all I really care about. I'm, I'm ready to get my nails done because I've been waiting for a good little minute to get my nails done. So, when I get my nails done, I'll feel complete. And then, like I said, um, after I get my nails done, I will show you guys, you know, I'm gonna shave my legs, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, underarms, bikini. I'm not gonna show you all the bikini part, but, <laughs> And I think this is gonna be it for the maintenance vlog. As far as my toes, y'all saw my toes. They came out okay, but I feel like they could have looked so much better. But I feel like it's because she painted my natural toe. I didn't get powder or like fake nail on top of my toes. I don't feel like that's necessary. And I feel like it only looks, I feel like it only looks like, you know, how do I say? I feel like it only looks how it looks in the pictures when you see other girls get their toes done. I feel like it only looks like that when I grow my toes out. And I did not. So, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna come here no more. <laughs> I just, salons cost too much. And then on top of that, they don't do a good job. I would rather pay a nail tech to do my toes and my hands. So, I don't know. That's what I think I'm about to start doing. There's another shop not far from this one that I think I might go to the next time I get my toes done. I'm gonna see how they do. And if I like them, then I'll go there to get my toes done. But I don't know. I'm just not feeling this place no more. So, so sorry. All right, I'm gonna see y'all at the house so I can show y'all my hair. Cool. Okay, we're gonna do a quick reveal because I keep forgetting to show you guys before we go do my nails. But this is the hair. Um, initially, I was gonna do all the braids with these, but I feel like it looks better with just some of them. So, that's what I'm doing. And they're also longer than I intended them to be. But I look great. So yeah. Okay, let's look at these nails. this maintenance vlog I just have to shave my legs arms and do my eyebrows that's it for the maintenance vlog after I do that so I'm just gonna let you guys watch and enjoy the rest of this vlog thank you guys for watching and hope I'm saying let's get you guys in the next video all right you guys first things first I go in with my tree hut shea sugar scrub Moroccan rose scent and it smells so good and it gets all the dead skin off. Then I go in with my Nair Hair Removal Body Cream. And I swear by this, it makes my legs so soft, especially after I use the Tree Hut Scrub. And the hair doesn't grow back super quick. Then for my bikini area, I use coconut oil and a regular razor. And I just shave super carefully down there. These are the razors I use. Um, I don't buy super expensive razors, cause why? 
And then I use Pure Silk Shaving Cream because I don't feel like I need to do that much with my underarms, so I don't. I just use shaving cream. It's not a lot of hair right there, and it's super quick, so I save the nair for my legs because, yeah. And if you're wondering why I'm filming this part, I don't know. I just felt like it was content, so... I guess if you didn't know how to shave your arms before or if you're younger and you want to know now you have a tutorial you're welcome and to anyone out there i'm still struggling with getting this darkness under my arms to go away i know it's normal but if i can get rid of it i will so leave um any tips down below in the comments um, cause I am trying to get rid of that. I use the sugar scrub, the tree hut sugar scrub under there to get rid of the dead skin. And that's really helped, but I feel like there are better remedies for this. I don't know. So let me know in the comments down below, but yeah, my underarm skin is now smooth. I only show that one part cause I felt like that was all that was necessary. And for my eyebrows, I couldn't find my spoolie, like the regular eyebrow brush, so I found this unused toothbrush and decided that'll work perfectly fine. Then I go in and just clean my eyebrows with some alcohol just to get any excess oil off of my eyebrows so that I don't get any, get any hair bumps and they're nice and smooth and clean and it just makes for a better shave. First, I brush downwards so that I can shave the top part um, of my eyebrows. And I'll go in with just a regular eyebrow razor that you can get from any beauty supply store. They're super cheap. And um, I just kind of go in and just stretch the skin a little bit so that um, I don't cut myself. Um, and I just kind of go downwards with the blade towards my eyebrow and i i don't know like i just go into the shape of my eyebrow that's all i really do with my eyebrows i just shape them and make them look neater and then i just continue this process for a little while So then I will brush my eyebrow hairs upwards so that I can get underneath, I guess, like the bottom part of my eyebrow. Um, and I do that part extra carefully, not just because I can't stretch the skin the way I want to, but also so that I don't mess up the under part of my eyebrows. <laughs> um, and this part, I just kind of have to take my time with it um, and use my mirror so that I can really see and that I'm really careful with it. And I just get any hairs that are out of place and I just shave them. It's kind of like the same thing you would do with tweezers, but it's much less painful. <laughs> So I recommend this, and if you're using tweezers and you're tired of using tweezers, get an eyebrow blade. Then I'm brushing my hairs upward um, so that the long hairs that are in my eyebrows, I guess, I can cut them to the shape of my eyebrow. Um, I feel like this really helps with the shape of my eyebrow because before I was just getting the excess hair that was growing on the outer part of my eyebrow, but now I'm actually trimming my eyebrow hairs because my eyebrows are really bushy. So this is really necessary for me. And in all honesty, you guys, I learned this from watching them do my eyebrows at the salon and also watching them do my mom's eyebrows at the salon and i just learned i could do that for free without being in pain from waxing them but yeah um after i cut them and trim them i really just kind of go in and get any more excess hairs that i might have missed and then go back over my eyebrows with 
the alcohol so that it's clean again and then I do the same thing with the other eyebrow and I'm just gonna let you guys watch and get a better view of everything I just explained with the other eyebrow So now I'm just going back in um, and trying to catch anything that I might have missed. And I go back in with some alcohol so that I don't get any razor bumps. And I like to go over my face with a washcloth because, I don't know, like my face just gets oily sometimes. And wiping it off with a wash with a washcloth helps to get some of the oil off and just make my face feel fresh but if you made it to the end of this video thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and i hope i'm saying what's good to you guys in the next video